Hello and welcome back to my channel. If not back, then just welcome. Today I am just going to be doing a quick get ready with me. I'm going to get my first manicure ever and I'm very nervous about it, so I need to talk about it. <laughs> I will also be sharing my no foundation routine. It's a routine that I have been doing uh, quite regularly as of late, uh, just because foundation has been very, very annoying. And so I'm not going to wear it. I guess I'm going to get started. So by the time you see this video, I will have had my first professional manicure. Um, yeah, I'm quite nervous, not gonna lie, because um, that's gonna be very close proximity to someone's face, a stranger, and we're gonna be sitting across from each other at eye level and I am not okay with that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but also I'm very proud of myself because I haven't like chewed all my nails off in approximately a month, which is huge progress for me. So I wanna celebrate that and get them covered in hardened shellac -y stuff so that I don't chew them off. So for my no foundation routine, I start with sunscreen and then I move on to color correction and then I conceal my face. For my color corrector, I use it simply underneath my eyes to cancel out my dark shadows. Um, I have some acne scars that could potentially benefit from some color correction, but to be frank, I don't really care that much. For my color corrector, I like to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Peach. They have an orange color that I would probably use for you know, if I were going to color correct my acne scars or any other hyperpigmentation on my face, I just feel like it's too dark to use underneath my eyes for my complexion. I feel like a lot of people use orange color correctors that could really benefit from like a peach or salmon or like coral color corrector. I feel like orange is just too severe for most brown people. I remember when it was like a thing for people to put like orange and red liquid lipstick underneath their eyes for color correction. I feel like color correction came onto the scene and we got bamboozled and duped into thinking that we needed these bright neon colors to correct our faces. When in reality, we do not. Plus, I'm going to put a brightening concealer underneath my eyes. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to put a shade underneath my eyes that's darker. So for the brightening factor, I'm going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Caramel. So exciting news, such exciting news. I am now a Glossier rep. That means that I make a commission of sales generated through the link connected to my rep page. Now, this is very, very exciting for me because I want to be in the beauty industry exactly as what, and as much as I enjoy YouTube, I don't want to be a YouTuber. I wanna be a, uh, I don't know exactly what I want to be. I want to be like a, a curator, like a, a museum curator, but for the beauty industry? I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to be when I grow up, but, oh, and then to cover the spots that I want to color, cover, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal concealer in the shade Fawn. Yeah, Fawn. But I do know that I enjoy creating, making videos. I enjoy editing pictures for Instagram, arranging the photos for my Instagram in an aesthetic and theme. That theme and aesthetic varies and changes too frequently for it to look cohesive. But, um, I think I'm getting it down. So I'm a glossy A rep now. So the difference between being like a glossy A rep and say a Mary Kay rep or an Avon rep, which no shade to either of those companies, is that glossy A reached out to me. Like they saw my content 
enjoyed what I was doing. I'm pretty sure they saw my cloud paint blush video. And I also tag them on Instagram and post that when I'm using their product. And I'm, between those two things, somebody saw something and was like, we like what you're doing. And that's what makes me so excited about this program. It's not that I reached out to them actively. I didn't fill out a form to become a rep. I didn't buy a kit to become a rep and then start selling or anything like that. They saw what I created. They enjoyed what I created and then asked me, you know, would I be interested in being in their rep program? And obviously I said yes, because I'm actually really into Glossier and their, and their brand. I don't feel like they ever push for uh, perfection or anything like that. It's all about your individual face and your uh, the way that you are set up and just enhancing that instead of trying to cover anything and just making sure that your your base, your skin is taken care of first. And then adding on top of that. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna wear eyeshadow today because I wanna be slightly impressive. I'm gonna be sitting across from another human being that will be touching my hands. I don't think you guys understand. She's gonna be touching my hands, eye level with me. It's going to be so weird. I'm not ready. Let's see. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this Smashbox eyelid primer. I really like this one. It's a skin tone eyelid primer and corrector. Like it hides my the darkness of my eyes, kind of brightens up my eyelid, which generally I don't care about, but if I'm going to be wearing, you know, eyeshadow then it's something that I'm conscious of and it's something that I want to, if I want the eyeshadow to pop and I don't want the eyeshadow to blend in with the natural shadow of my eye, then I will use this. I'm just gonna take a like kind of shimmery copper color. This is for my Viseart, the Theory palette and this is in Minx too, or Minx, just Minx, ow. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eye. Cause I just want a sheer wash of bright copper. So yeah, so with me being a rep, you will see more Glossier on my channel, but I'm not gonna be pushy or anything like that. And I will only talk about the products that from them that I enjoy. Um, they do have some things that I am not too keen on, so you won't see them on my channel, period. And if you, want to buy from them and you want to purchase it through my link, I 100% appreciate that. But I also understand if you feel like YouTube is too commercial now and everything is a big advertisement. But I just want to let you guys know that I don't make money from Glossier. Like, Glossier doesn't cut me a check to, um, to come on here and try to sell you anything. I only make money if you click on the link and purchase through it. And I will also not spam my description box with my link all the time. So it's not gonna be any sort of like, and on this week in Glossier, like it's not gonna be like that. It's only gonna be when they come out with something that I really enjoy and really wanna share. So that's why I did the SPF video because I have been waiting for them to launch an SPF ever since I started using their products. I've been using their products for like a year and a half, two years. Okay, I want to do like kind of like a baby halo eye thing. So I'm going to take this Butter London Eye Glaze in the shade Spark. This stuff is so freaking weird. If you ever go to Sephora or not Sephora, where do I get this from? From Ulta and you try to swatch this and it's like super dry, don't worry. That's not how it actually is. It's way more pigmented than that and it's wet and it's jelly like and it's odd. Can you even see what's going on on my eyes? I'm in the process of getting my Beyonce halo on. Now I feel like you're too close. Sorry about it. And then on top of that, I'm just gonna take the champagne color from the Visart and just kind of punch it up. Just taking a like an orange to just really kind of deepen up the the copper make it real fiery. This is Jam from the Venus palette or the Venus 2 palette. So I'm just really hoping that the beginning of working with Glossier is going to be the start of great things for me in regards to becoming a self-sufficient creative, <laughs> which is basically what I want to be. I just want to be a self-sufficient creative person.
Now I'm going to be using the um, the Cloud Paint Blush. I'm going to mix the shades Dusk and Beam. Yeah, these blushes are everything. I haven't, I think I've only used one other blush since purchasing these, but I just always go back to these. The only other blushes that I really like are the ColourPop blushes. And the only two shades that I really like are Quarters and Swift, which I like to call West. I'm still not over the fact of like, of how Kim exposed her. I don't keep up with the Kardashians. I'm not really into that. I will, I will forever thank Kimberly Ann Kardashian West. I don't know if her middle name is Ann, but Kimberly Ann just like rolls out of the mouth for that, for that exposure. Because it feels good to be validated. It feels good to be right. I've been saying Taylor Swift is a snake in the grass for what feels like millennia. Anyway, I feel like most people are over that, but I like to be right. So I, like I said, I will never be over it. Never, never. I want a mascara that is super black, but its main claim is that it just darkens your lashes. I definitely benefit from the volumizing effect of the Better Than Sex mascara because I have seven eyelashes, ouch. But I don't really like how like crusty most volumizing mascaras make my eyelashes look because I do only have seven of them. So I have to go in with a very, very light hand. I just basically want like an eyelash tint in a tube. Oh yeah, I chopped up this wig and I made a video explaining why I chopped it up. But the sound, my microphone has been funky. And sometimes it sounds like there's like a helicopter or something in the background of my apartment. It was just loud and obnoxious. So basically the moral of the story is don't buy this wig unless you are the kind of person that has a rotating arsenal of wigs and are not dependent on this to be your everyday style because the ends suck and will fail you. Now I'm using the Glossier Boy Brow in Black. I absolutely love this brow pomade. I love how small and precise the brush head is. I also feel very fortunate that I have a lot of like, that my brows take up a lot of real estate on my face. Um, but I don't have a lot of hair, so I really just need a good brow gel to darken them up. And that's kind of what combing them forward does. It's kind of like, you know, back combing to make your hair look fuller before you comb it where you want it to be. It's the same principle. So now I just have to put on lipstick. And I don't know what color I want to do. I'm going to use my Bite Beauty Multi Stick. Okay, I'm either going to use the shade Almond or the shade Honey Wheat. So this is Almond. It's like a warm pink brown. Or I'm going to use Honey Wheat. Okay, so here's the thing. I bought these Bite Beauty sticks a while ago when they first came out. Whenever that was, I don't know. I'll reference it. And they were fine and they were... They're still fine, but all of them are falling apart. They are all in shambles. This is honey wheat. They say it's chocolate brown. LOL. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll do both. Por que no los dos? So that's almond by itself. I'm proud of myself for not chewing off my fingernails. I've been a nail biter ever since I can remember. In kindergarten during story time chewing off my fingernails i don't want them nervous so whenever i have fingernails it's kind of like a sign that life's going pretty good because i haven't been so anxious that i've decided that now is the time i need to chew all my fingers off but i'm bird man i promise my next video will be a lot more like <laughs> and also i will have a lamp so this corner back here won't look like the shadowy place beyond pride rock so this is my face for the day 
I wish I had a tan. I'm going to buy some self tanner. So yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like trying to figure out something to say, but I don't have anything to say. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye guys.